In this episode of the Azure Essential Show, we will be talking with an expert from Microsoft about how you can track your saving opportunities using the Azure Advisor Cost Optimization Workbook. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Thomas, and joining me today is Ryan, a senior cloud solution architect from Microsoft Azure. So Ryan is going to talk uh, to us about cost optimization and show us how you can take advantage of the Azure Advisor cost optimization workbook in the Azure portal to better track your cost and saving opportunity. Welcome, Ryan. Thanks, Thomas. Great to be here. So cost optimization has been a very interesting topic when it cloud comes to cloud computing for a lot of customers out there. And it's always challenging to find all the best options. Where can you save stuff? What are the all special offerings? from the cloud vendors, especially also Microsoft has so many, um, which allow you to really optimize on costs. So Ryan, can you explain to our viewers what are the, uh, the customers looking at when they look at the workbooks? Sure thing, Thomas. So Azure workbooks are customizable dashboards that can be used to collect and visualize information from various different data sources in Azure. Uh, you can build your own workbooks and customize them to your needs, or you can use the example dashboards that we provide for you. So in a few minutes, you'll see an example of the cost optimization workbook that we have available for you in the Azure portal for tracking that kind of data. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. So very helpful as customers are always looking for ways to optimize their spend. Uh, Azure offers obviously a variety of pricing offers to enhance their investment. Um, can you talk about the different types of cost optimization we have there in Azure? Sure. We break cost optimization into two main areas rate optimization and usage optimization. Rate optimization involves leveraging pricing offers like reserved instances, uh, Azure savings plans for compute and Azure hybrid benefit to reduce the overall rate that you're paying compared to the on-demand prices. And then usage optimization involves optimizing your spend by removing unused resources, choosing optimal SKUs and other types of operational changes. So yeah, this sounds very interesting to me. Like so, splitting that in obviously rate optimization and usage optimization. Um, I love that we obviously help our customers with some guidance so how they can save money. Um, now we talked about this and we offer this. Uh, can you show us this in the Azure portal? Absolutely. All right. So we're going to go into the Azure portal and we're going to flip over to the Azure Advisor section. Inside of Azure Advisor, we go down to Workbooks. And you can see we have three workbooks published in the advisor, one for reliability, one for service retirement, and one for cost optimization, which is what we're going to focus on today. So inside of the cost optimization workbook, first of all, we have some great information and some links out to our well-architected framework, which has a lot to say around cost optimization. We also have some information in the workbook around how to use it, right, in terms of the number of permissions and so on that you need to get the most out of the workbook. Up at the top of the workbook, we have three different tabs, our overview, rate optimization, and usage optimization, as we said. So under our rate optimization section, we have sections for Azure Hybrid Benefit, which is to reuse the licenses that you've already made investments for on-prem and get discounts on the virtual machines and the Azure SQL instances that you are uh, running in Azure. We have Azure Reservations, which are a specific discount for a particular SKU in a particular region. And that can provide the deepest discount in terms of your run rate for your virtual machines and other resources. And then we have Azure Savings Plan for Compute, which is a per hour dollar commitment to uh, obtain additional discounts on your Azure usage. While that is not as deep of a discount as your reservations, it's more broadly applicable to different types of compute resources like virtual machines, app services, container services, and so on. In the usage optimization section, as I said, we have different uh, suggestions here for optimizing your operational usage of Azure, things like eliminating unused disks and other resources that may be costing money. We don't have time to go into all the different details there. Uh, that'll maybe be for another video, but uh, lots of great information in the portal here for you. Awesome, thank you very much. Um, this is a great and a very powerful uh, tool, obviously, for our customers to figure out how they can save money, how they can optimize their costs uh, when they deploy in Azure. Uh, fantastic, and I agree. Um, we don't have time to show everything. We need really a couple of more episodes, but our viewers are lucky. There are already a couple of episodes out there talking about Azure pricing as well as about the saving plans and many, many other things. So make sure you check out the links in the description below to learn more about these awesome uh, features. So um, Ryan, obviously now customers who are watching this, uh, they're probably very interested is how do I get started? 
Like I mentioned, inside of the Azure portal in the advisor section, we have the workbooks. And it, like I said, on the first page of the workbook, we've got some great links there in terms of uh, links out to the Azure uh, well-architected framework and uh, some other great resources to help get you started. Thank you very much, Ryan. This was fantastic. Uh, and also, thank you for everyone watching. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. And as always, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future episodes. And thank you for watching the Azure Essentials show.